I'm Luke Ross from MissingLight.com and welcome to my comprehensive course for Baselight students. Uh, this video series is for you if you've never worked in Baselight before uh, or if you're a seasoned Baselight user that needs a refresher before you jump back into the Baselight world. In this series, I'll take you through the Baselight student workflow step by step. Um, so I'll start with installing the software and how to set up Baselight on Mac OS with some hints and recommendations for getting targeted support from Filmlight. We'll take you through the user interface, how to import, organize, and grade your media, and we'll finish the workflow off by exporting media out <laughs> into the world. So we'll cover the full grading process. We will be working exclusively on Baselight Student throughout this course, so feel free to download the software and follow along with me as we go. And remember, even though we're in Baselight Student, all of the concepts that we'll be learning in this series apply to the full version of Baselight 2. So pretty much everything that we cover will be relevant for your career moving forward, especially if you want to start using Baselight as one of your main grading tools. I think any colorist or DI assistant who's new to Baselight should definitely watch this course. Um, I'm a colorist and a DI assistant, and I think the fact that I know how to use both Resolve and Baselight makes me a more hireable, more flexible post-production nerd. I certainly have a deeper understanding of color management after learning Baselight, which, to be honest, is a reason to learn Baselight just by itself. I would highly recommend watching this series if you normally only stick to one color grading software. Uh, you never know when you might be asked to do a color contract on Baselight, and it is better to be prepared when it happens um, and to know a little bit about the software. The last point I wanted to touch on before we get into it is what the main differences are between DaVinci Resolve and Baselight. They are arguably the two biggest players in the color grading world, and there are some key differences and a few caveats. So um, the biggest differences that are worth mentioning in this series are to do with price and workflow. Uh, so firstly, let's look at the price. Baselight Student is free, so yay, but it does have a limited functionality and it can be thought of more as a trial version for the full version of Baselight. It's only available through a 90-day license. It's only available on Mac OS. Uh, the Blackboard control panel isn't supported, the render formats are pretty limited, you can't export or access full Baselight scenes, and there are some advanced workflow restrictions. But it is free, so props to Filmlight for that. Unfortunately, the full version of Baselight is not free, it's very expensive. Um, especially because the full version of Baselight normally comes pre-installed on a turnkey Linux box. Baselight isn't really marketed as an affordable software for the prosumer. Baselight is normally found in post-production facilities with bigger budgets and dedicated IT engineering support and equipment. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, is cheap as chips. In fact, the base version of Resolve is free and it's very unrestricted. Um, there are some limitations on rendering and some pro features, but it's a pretty phenomenal package that you can download off the internet for free. Uh, not only that, but the full studio version of DaVinci Resolve only costs, I think it's a few hundred dollars US. And you know, you get a finishing software, but you also get an NLE, a visual effects software, and a digital audio workstation all bundled into one, which is a very competitive package, especially when you compare that to Baselight and other software bundles like Adobe's Creative Cloud. So Resolve is cheaper and more accessible, but the other big key difference between Resolve and Baselight is their workflow. So, Resolve has decided to be an all-in-one solution, and it's kind of designed that way from left to right. Um, you can think of Resolve as a multi-tool, right? So it can be used as a full post-production treatment or as a spot fix to you know, either edit or composite or color grade or audio mix, whatever you need to do. You don't need to do everything, um, but it gives you a broad range of tools for any particular project. Um, so yeah, it's got a very broad mission statement. It's kind of trying to do everything at once, um, and I think it does it very well, but it's not a consolidated tool. Um, also, as well, before I forget, I should mention on the color tab, Resolve is a, a node-based color grading tool. It uses nodes, which is very different to how Baselight operates. So, how does Baselight operate? Well, uh, Baselight doesn't pretend to be an editing software or an audio tool. Um, editing and playing with sound in Baselight does feel pretty clunky. It's, it definitely feels a bit old school. Baselight has been designed as a finishing software. Um, that's its thing, and it does that job beautifully. Um, it's designed to manage, polish, fix footage. Uh, it's got comprehensive color space management and grading tools that are really fantastic. Um, you will find if you use Baselight for a few months and go back to Resolve, you will definitely miss some of the grading tools and workflows that Baselight has. Um, but the biggest thing you'll notice when you open up Baselight is that it's kind of like Photoshop. Uh, Baselight is a layer-based tool, um, and that definitely takes a while to get used to. 
Um, even just understanding the grade logic of how your layers, how everything fits together, takes, uh, takes a while. At the end of the day, one software is not better than the other. Um, both provide pretty robust tools that allow for some really nice color grading. Uh, but the reality is some workflows will be better suited to DaVinci Resolve or Baseline. Uh, for me personally, I see Resolve as a kind of a lower budget, easier to work on tool and Baselight as that professional industry workhorse, um, which can feel a bit clunky at times, but it does a great job. Um, the way that I like to compare it is Adobe's Premiere Pro versus Avid's Media Composer. They're both great editing tools, uh, but Media Composer always feels a little bit more Baselight to me. It's, it's an industry workhorse, especially great on larger projects, especially things like feature films, um, but they both have different strengths and they're both competitive in their own way. But enough of that. Uh, let's crack into Baselight Student. So chuck a comment down below if you're starting this journey with me. Um, I'm really curious to see who's out there uh, so we can start building a little Baselight community over these next uh, 19 videos. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Uh, for mixinglight.com, I'm Luke Ross.